it has been two days since the inception of this deck. Here's what it looks like now. Major changes are mostly in the sideboard. So let's start with Veil of Summer. Veil of Summer lets you protect your game plan, but since we're a critical mass deck, it doesn't make sense to do that. We are weaker to other unfair strategies anyway. So break expectations is the better approach for these strategies since it can hit show and tell or titan. It also exiles the card and not just discards it. Assassin's Trophy was also changed for Unholy Heat, but this deck mostly cares about sheer efficiency. A 2 mana spell is hard to cast and Unholy Heat also hits Planeswalkers anyway. In the main deck, I've also tried replacing the Swamp with a Polluted Delta. The theory was adding another fetch increases the consistency of our shadows being online. We also have Mox Jet as a black source and Pick Your Poison gets rid of Blood Moon. However, adding a Swamp into your deck will impact almost all of your games. Compared to the small increase in chance, adding another Polluted Delta gets you. And lastly, there's also a lot of Burn. We also swap the numbers on Jet Collector and Questing Druid. We only want Druid when we want to refill, but Jet Collector can accelerate our game plan. It also provides extra mana for Seek the Beast. Jet Collector is an all-star you always want to draw in this deck. Let's try some games out to see the effects of these changes. Last known on Lurus. Um, I think this is a burn player. Double Shaman sounds great. Versus burn. So let's lead with the Swamp and Shaman. I don't have a Swamp. I think I forgot to add it back. Alright, it's not me, it's fine. But it's Shadow. Okay. Three. Let's start with by bolting this one first. Three. We can jet collector. We gain no value from this, but it makes our board presence strong. Alright, we're just drawing perfectly here. Let's bend that so that we can rebuy with Jet Collector. Alright. And for good measure. Let's eat their lures. Okay, that was nuts. So Greg's a shadow. We want removal here. Cut the thought seeds. So now it's either break expectations trophy. Yeah, I think since we don't have any other good cards here, we break expectations and maybe bring in the trophy. Alright, this is capable. 
If they're on Dragon's Range Janitor, I would... No. I think... I don't think I want to bring in... Pick your poison against this deck. Get the Bowmasters here. Let's just... Lead with the... Death right Shaman here. The Inquisition could be used when they revive the Lurus. Alright, that turns off Inquisition of Posey like. Maybe I still break expectations here. This doesn't discard. Alright. <laughs> So that means these are a bunch of lands or let's see what they take here. I might go druid instead. Since they did that. Let's get a blood trip here, block the empty. That works all fine since it's still a one for one. Now we can just spit out our hand here. So we just attack with all. Mat is for blockers. Here. Seven. Yeah, mat is for blockers. All right. Let's play first. This is why I don't want basics. Alright. So this is basically a one lander but a capable one since we have channeler. And a bunch of one mana spells. We're up against Yorion so... Right off the bat. I want to be able to apply pressure here. Alright, that's a good one. We just need a... Fetch land. Alright. We got the fetch. Let's start by fetching overgrown tomb. We almost had the turn to There's the once upon a time. They're playing a beans deck. Do I get the beans here? Or do I just get brainstorm? Probably just the beans. I guess I should have played once upon a time first. There's even merit to bolting myself there.
let's just do this. Right, a bow master's speed. They could commandeer me here. It's just raw. I guess regardless, we do this. I'm going to take the counter spell. Right now, we play this. <laughs> that was actually unnecessary. Alright, you're gonna control. I guess we just take out the push here, bring in the unholy heat. Wonder if I should take the vortex here. Maybe instead of Inquisition, we could bring in break expectations, but not sure. We could go instead of both, we put in vortex in. But that works against us since we run bubbles. I think we just put break expectations in. Since it exiles, it works against Uro. Nice. This is a good hand. That is a weird start. I get overgrown tomb here. Let's see what their next draw is. Oh shit. Which works out pretty well for us. I think we just Challenger here, leave up the push. Another show off is a problem. What? Never creature control. That's neat. Never creature control. Let's hang back for now. Play the seek the beast. Perfect. They should have led with the lightning bolt to the face. But I'm not sure if that matters. Yeah, that matters since they can respond with rage. So slight si not slight, but that's a big sequencing error for the for them. And now we can take can take a boat from them. Uh, 
that's fine. That means that bolt isn't going to our face. I think we take the collector here. Gives us a freeze fry. Let's see. Three, two, three. All right. We can get the jet collector back. Get another opal. Hey, the questing druid. And boot this now. Grow aggro, we can pick your poison from holy heat. Remove the discard spells. Bring in the trophy. I think they're a Blood Moon deck. So that's one thing to keep in mind while playing against this deck. I guess this is capable. Not sure if I want to get the forest here. Probably not. You have double that, right, Shaman? Oh, that's nice. Let's try if they will choose to eat their own graveyard or ours. Should have base should should fetch the basic forest. That's also the correct play. Let's add this square here. Yeah, I don't know why I fetched that way. Now that I think about it, it should be stomping ground. Three damage and reach. They still have the rules.
Okay. I thought they were going to give me an out. I think I need to move this. Shit. Alright. Punished. Okay. Let's get a shadow here. There's nothing to get from the graveyard. I think I just bolt here. Oh shit. This hand looks capable. We're up against burn. I guess we start with Inquisition of Kozilek. They can rebuy the looters. That's where Thought Seeds comes in. Let's get the token. Now we can. Can get forest here. Play this guy. Thought Seeds the looters. And Bowmaster's new channeler. Okay, that is kind of scary. I guess we can attack with Collector here. I think we can attack like this. Alright. Get the bolt. Right against Bring, we want. We don't want Thought Seize. We want Pick Your Poison. Position can stay. I'd prefer a trophy. I think that's fine. Get Seek the Beast. 
I guess we get a basic forest here. We can go to questing druid. I think we should questing druid here. Get a stomping ground. Play a channeler. Make them sacrifice an enchantment. Keep the boat. Play the that right shaman. We'll have to chomp here. Do we have to chomp? I think we don't need to chomp here. Okay. Let's play first. This is an okay hand. Let's start with the... I could have kept that actually. It would have counted as my first spell. I think we are done for a third land. Let's play out the bowmasters here. We aren't laughing with that anyway. We're just going to push that. Just to be sure. Right. I think we just go... Deploy all chats here. We are at five. Jet collector insane. Alright, we can get a shaman. Not that insane. Let's... Boat the... Komano now. Swift Spear. Okay. Take a double lock here. What did this? Gain some life. Catch. An overgrown tomb, I guess.
get back the jet collector. Alright, this is tight. I think we just bubble here. Check the next play. We're pretty safe here. Three, five, seven, nine. Let's play first. Decent hand. Start with the channel. Let's just get another fetch so that we can play the shadows. They are probably on mono black. Right. I'm just going to play the jet collector here since we have an extra one <laughs> this is also good for a tempo since all right let's just attack here i guess play another jet collector my problem here is if they what Let's try to get a land here. Perfect. We get a land, destroy the braids. Play out the shadow. Right, two skies for the channeler. We can return the shadow now. Now we can just get the bowmasters back. We might want to hold back for now. They might have a sweeper here. And they're already dead on board, on board if they don't sweep me here. Now let's try to find for another fetch. We can just push. We are up against a mono black deck. So pick your poison comes in here. Needle also comes in here. Trophy is good. We can probably trim on the bolts. And one once upon a time. I guess since we're on the draw, Unholy Heat is better than a discard spell. I think that's it. Okay. And we're back. 
the deck has felt pretty decent so far i would say maybe there's room for optimization and once upon a time maybe we can drop down to three for another fetch maybe but i'm kind of skeptical since it does reduce your chances of drawing it turn one so i'm not really sure about it i'm not really sure i want to try this in big john if you do jet collector becomes a card that is optional there like you might want one or two of these in those decks since you do play bigger but the upside is you get to play with stuff like Jarsil, Minsk and Boo. Maybe even have the reanimate plan in there. We're just waiting for Nether Goyf at this point. Maybe we can replace something here so that we have more efficient one drops. And the sideboard could be fixed or could be tweaked depending to your taste unholy heat is in the testing phase i haven't really played with this card but the main reason i want this over fatal push is that it gets around veil of summer there's a lot of john running around lately so i wanted to dodge veil of summer yeah i think that's it thank you for watching